Hello and welcome to a new video about my studio light. All right. So last time we managed to make this flicker free. So we can dim now these things here. Flicker free if I turn on the power supply. We don't see any flicker. Yeah. This is working great. However, what I want to do is I want to keep the illumination constant. Right. So I have to measure illumination somehow. I have to measure the brightness. Measure the, the illumination of a scene simply okay therefore i'm going to use turn this off before it blinds me <laughs> i'm going to use this photoresistor okay so i have here this photoresistor it's from an arduino starter set i bought there's a separate video about this photoresistor you can watch it if you like and i will put this photoresistor here between plus and nothing yeah and here, this is a 1K resistor, and I put this 1K resistor between this nothing, uh, which is now the middle point of a voltage divider, uh, and minus. So actually, I produced now a voltage divider where the, I can measure the illumination, because this photoresistor is changing its resistance with illumination. Uh, you can think that light is helping the electrons rushing through. Uh. All right. So actually the more brightness there is, the less the less resistance we have. So I will put here 3 to 3 volt. Where is this? 3 to 3 volt to the plus line. Yeah. And here I will use ground. So this 3 to 3 volt are now divided between this resistor and the fixed resistor. If we have full illumination, we would have here 0, vo zero ohms. Yeah? Then we would have here 0 volts and we measure here 3 to 3 volts. So if we have, if we measure high levels of, of voltage, high, yeah? almost 3 to 3 volt, it means the illumination is high. This means the voltage at this point here, here, back. Yeah? I will connect to A0, so this analog input. Well, and actually now I should be able to measure the illumination. Here. And just need to code it, right? So, switch to the computer. Alright, so at the computer... Um, I want to measure. I want to measure the brightness. I want to measure all the time. However, I also also want to have this cycle going on, get, getting brighter and getting lower. So actually, I'm going to include a library, this uh, this timeout library from mine. Yeah, I also used this in previous videos and so on. You also you should know what what is it about. Yeah. So I will add a new timeout. Timeout. Yeah change light and actually what this should do every 50 milliseconds it should change the brightness sensor and here i will have a static static int brightness equals zero and i have a static pool up which is true at the beginning okay so whenever if change light timed out whenever this is timed out i will start again change light set now good and i will say if up Brightness plus plus. If brightness equals 255, up is gleich false. False test. Alright. Else brightness minus minus. And if Brightness equals zero, up is true. 
All right, and then I will say analog right, D1 and brightness. So actually this should do nothing else. This should do exactly as before, but with the timer. And so I can do other things as well. So let's see, let's upload this. Uh, turn on, lucky, that we can see. Writing. Okay, we're getting brighter. This looks good as before. And we are also getting darker. Right, so this is working now as before, but without delay, yeah, without the delay command. And so uh, I can do other things also. And I'm going to read, uh, I'm going to read the current illumination. So what is this? It's an integer. Uh, measured brightness is analog read. <clears throat> and we have pin number zero. Uh, and whenever we change the light, I'm going to put it out also. Zero begin. Zero dot print. Uh, hmm, not print. So should print. Brain and brightness zero dot print line. I should write it correct. Measure brightness. Okay, this is good. The measure brightness. Let's see. Let's see if we can, if we can read this. All right. Oh, 600, 600. Yes. Looking good. You see, if I, if I somehow block and if I turn off the light. Okay, we're dropping. Oh, this is looking very good. And now turn on, and then we should see how it is increasing the brightness. Maybe I make it like that. Yeah. Yeah. All righty. If I put it, if I bend it over so that we can really measure the brightness of the sensor. <laughs> cool. Ah, I'm, I'm already eager to know what is if I'm using my Arduino to prevent this from burning. Oh, turn off the light. Arduino. Ah, uh, serial monitor. COM3 is not available. I don't care about COM3. I am comparing COM4. Okay, Arduino, and it should be 115. All right, but I don't want to see the serial monitor. I want to see the serial plotter. This should be interesting. Brightness. Aha. Okay, let's turn it on. Immediate jump with brightness, and then actually what we should see is that uh, it's going up and down. Okay, there is quite a lot of noise. Uh -huh. There is quite a lot of noise and brightness. Maybe we measure also this 5 kilohertz. But actually... I see what I wanted to see. I see what I wanted to see. So I can influence the brightness. Turn off. Tuck. 
That's not, this, this has no almost no influence. My little lampy lampy here. Oh, because it's too bright, this thing here. If I turn it off, fuck. Then this should, yes, this has influence. Of course. Good. The noise, I don't like the noise. So, maybe I'm using 10K. Let's see if the noise then is better. All right. Upload this stuff. A line sometimes tells much more than, than just numbers. Huh? If you have the chance to look to a trend, to a line, do this. Yes, it's looking better. It's looking better. So actually what we see is uh, the noise of the PWM frequency. <laughs> what do you think about that? Well, let's make 50k. Let's make 50k. Hey, hello. If we can, then we can, right? If it helps our... our it's getting hot. No. If it helps our case, why not? Close this serial blotter. Turn. Ah. Now you see it's looking smooth. It's looking smooth. Alrighty, alrighty. This is cool. Yeah, now we are fast enough that we are not disturbing the, the, the you know, if the, if the PVM, so one time you measure at, a, at when it's dark and one time you measure and if it's bright and now we are really fast enough to even trick this measurement not only the camera but also the measurement good now we measure brightness yeah so actually what we could do is that we measure brightness at a certain point and help that this brightness is constant yeah? The illumination of this brightness is constant. This is what I'm going to do next. Yeah? Next time I want to have influence of the, the in, measured illumination on the brightness so that we help keeping the brightness constant. Yeah? Illuminate just as good that the, the, the brightness is constant. Right. time tell you two different possibilities we have and we will select one for this time thank you very much for listening goodbye